For every tax report that the government receives from an economic entity, it has an idea of how much annual revenue that economic entity is expected to make. When the annual revenue reported has, is unusual, let's say the weather was unusually good, the government is allowed to suspect fraud, but if, it, if the cause was just the weather, then, then that, that suspicion would be unnecessary. This suspicion would not be there if there were more data assigned to the fiscal value in, in that report, which is achieved by shifting fiscal calculation methods. It is crucial that when there is more data assigned to reported fiscal value, that, that, that the components of that, of that value can be nullified. This because, let's say, the price of a legacy product of a monopoly is, is changed. And the components, what, what, this, what this change means uh, uh, in terms of the components of the price is not reported, then clarifying revenue in the future is, is, is not accurate, which is a waste of the perfection that can be achieved when there is more data assigned to fiscal value. The periodic nullification of fiscal value is le cycle de bonus de crédit. Le cycle starts with nullification on the side of the economic entity and it ends with nullification on the side of the market. Le cycle de bonus de crédit has four settings. The first setting observes the business as a spectrum in a void. The second observes the status of the fiscal authority of those legally involved with the business. The third looks at solely the market interaction with other economic entities that can occur within the Tommen. The fourth setting observes the legal state of the business that can be retraced by dividing its behavior in fiscal terms from the four or from the five analytical operators. Le principe du crédit bonus is that within le temps même, in both ways, the market as a naturalistic phenomenon must be equal to the cause of fiscality and the market in action must be equal to predetermined fiscality. The time frame observed by le principe must be the same as the designated crépuscule. The composition of the ADR is based on the laws of the market. The laws of the market are considered a naturalistic phenomenon and it is all for the evaluation of macroeconomic performance. Assume all tangible and intangible aspects of life can be accounted for. Coupe montée à moitié plein is then if all value a business is comprised of can be assigned to the people that are legally involved with it, dividing the value they own from the spectrum of life yields the value of a business at a certain point in time. This is not possible without the centralization of the concept of value because real-time adjustment of value is a naturalistic phenomenon. There would be no other way to evaluate inflation. It is half full because 
The crépuscule assumes that a business has value. Le crépuscule is an analytical display of the state of the market. There is use of sinus because it indicates what happens in between zero and zero. A period of 24 hours is used to evaluate the ADR in real time. A period of 12 months is for evaluating the annual resolution. Coupe monté à moitié vide assumes that a business can be fiscally spectered based on the analytical operators. It is based solely on crepuscular data. It does not uh, in, it does not take into consideration things like inflation. Without both groups reported for 24 hours every day of the year, le principe cannot be nullified in absolute terms.